Number 7. The Lizard People Somewhere in the underbelly of Los Angeles, the lizard people are said to be hiding in the shadows, in a lost city that was nearly wiped out by a meteor over 5,000 years ago. The legend surfaced in modern times when mining engineer W. Warren Shuffelt told the Los Angeles Times in 1934 that he was prepared to dig up downtown LA in search of the creatures whom he had first heard of firsthand by Hopi Indian chief Little Greenleaf. Shufelt literally sank a 350-foot shaft straight down underneath 518 North Hill Street, digging for what he called the treasure room of the lizard people. He claimed he had located gold in the catacombs and that the tunneled city was shaped like a giant lizard with the head below the Chavez Ravine, which is now the Dodger Stadium. Shortly after the time story was published, Shufelt lost all authorization to continue his project and Shufelt and his cohorts disappeared. The stories and rumors died out over the years, but the question around it still remains unanswered. Number 6. Bigfoot No list of mysterious creatures is complete without one of the most sought-after creatures in history, Bigfoot. Hundreds, even thousands of stories of sightings of the hairy beast have surfaced over the years, but many have been debunked and few have ever been backed up with even the grainiest of photographic evidence. But one story stands out in particular, a second-hand retelling of a creature assumed to be Bigfoot told by none other than President Theodore Roosevelt himself. In his 1892 book, The Wilderness Hunter, Roosevelt told the story of an encounter between an ape man and a man named Bowman. He says while on a hunting trip in Montana's Wisdom River, in the mid-19th century, Bowman and a partner returned to find their camp rummaged through and torn down. That night, they heard the growl of a beast and when they fired a shot, something ran off through the woods. They decided to leave the camp the next morning, but when Bowman separated from his partner to collect their traps, he returned to camp to find his partner dead. His lifeless partner's neck snapped with a set of bite marks on his throat. He ran out of the woods with his rifle in hand, never to return, and eventually he told his story to Roosevelt. Bigfoot still has arguably the largest following and community of followers and believers who actively search for the beast. Number 5. The Loch Ness Monster Although Nessie is far from the only legend of a lake monster, it is by far the most famous. The earliest reports of the Loch Ness Monster date back over 1,500 years, but the key account that landed the legend in the mainstream occurred in April of 1933, when a man named John McKay and his wife spotted the creature in the loch. They told reporters that, at first, they thought it was a whale, but knew that it couldn't be. The Loch Ness Monster has been spotted thousands of times in the 80 years since. Number 4. Chupacabra Stories of the Chupacabra vary, but the general consensus is that the creature is about 4 or 5 feet tall, with short, powerful legs and red, glowing eyes. It is believed that the chupacabra preys on livestock and animals like cats, sheep, rabbits, dogs, chickens, hogs, and more. Chupacabra stories gained steam in Puerto Rico starting in 1995, which Latin Americans believe is the most unholy result of secret U.S. government experiments in the jungle of their country. But chupacabra sightings have been spotted as far north as Texas and New Mexico. Number 3. The Jersey Devil Perhaps New Jersey's most famous celebrity, even more famous than Tony Soprano himself, the Jersey Devil has been haunting the state for over a century now. Believed to live deep within the Pine Barrens, the Jersey Devil is rarely reported to be seen these days. But for an entire week in 1909, throughout the state and Delaware Valley, sightings were reported by large groups of people in places spanning across Camden, Haddon Heights, and even Philadelphia. Schools throughout the area closed as residents hid in their homes in panic. Police and firemen are said to have even turned their guns and fire hoses on the flying kangaroo-like demon monster that they claim to have seen with their own eyes. Number 2. Mothman You might recognize Mothman from the 2002 Richard Gere film, The Mothman Prophecies, but this legend dates back well before Hollywood got their hands on it. The story started in November of 1966 and spanned through December 15, 1967. 
Five men who were digging in a grave in West Virginia reported seeing a man-like creature flying over their heads. Sightings increased, and on November 15, 1966, two young couples in Point Pleasant told police they saw a large flying man with 10-foot wings and glowing red eyes following their car while they were driving. After local firemen reported seeing the creature, Mason County Sheriff George Johnson blamed the sighting on a large heron in the area. After the December 15, 1967 collapse of Silver Bridge, which resulted in the death of 46 people, Mothman sightings abruptly stopped. This led many to believe that the creature was some way connected to the tragedy. A 1975 book, The Mothman Prophecies, written by John Keel, raised awareness of the creepy legend and said that the events in the area and those related to the bridge collapse were a wide array of supernatural occurrences that were related to the Mothman. The Hollywood film was based on this book. Number 1. Slender Man While Slender Man is undoubtedly a fictional character created by Eric Knudsen, also known as Victor Surge, as an internet meme in 2009, it has actually manifested itself into reality, earning itself the top spot in this list. You may have never heard of Slender Man until the character made headlines in 2014. He is a tall, thin man in a suit with a gaunt and featureless face who haunts the woods to blend in with the trees and follows his victims home, usually children. Because there is no official story of origin, Slender Man has evolved as a character among multiple internet forums. He is most commonly known to be responsible for abductions of mainly children. Proximity to the creepy character is said to trigger the Slender Sickness, in which the victim begins to suffer rapidly from paranoia, nightmares, delusions, and nosebleeds. All of this, though, was just words on a screen until two 12-year-old Wisconsin girls stabbed their classmate 19 times in the name of what they said would win the favor of Slenderman, who they believed to live in the nearby forest. Although their actions are based in delusion, one might say that the evil of Slenderman has manifested itself in the minds of anyone who gets too close. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, share, or write a comment. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can check out my next video.